tight end help is on the way for your Cincinnati Bengals. Hi again, everyone, and welcome in to Cincinnati Bengals Talk. I'm James Rapine of allbengals.com. Thank you so much for watching this video and watching all of our videos. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, and well, the Bengals, they land a big fish, and tight end was certainly a position that they needed to address, or you could certainly look at and say, man, Drew Sample's banged up, Mitch Wilcox is banged up. Hayden Hurst is the only healthy tight end on the roster as of now. And even though Sample was progressing, why not go after a tight end? And I think that's why everyone's ears perked up from a Bengals fan standpoint on Tuesday when the Bills released former first round pick OJ Howard. Now, the veteran tight end spent the offseason essentially with the Bills and didn't play uh, in a regular season game with the Bills before that. Five seasons with Tampa Bay, has 1,737 career yards, 180 targets, 119 receptions, does average nearly 15 yards per catch for his career at 14.6 and has 15 total touchdowns. Um, but Ian Rappaport reporting, let me not bury the lead, that the Bengals hosting OJ Howard for a visit expected to sign him, and it was really fast, which means a couple of things. The first of which, I think the Bengals, they saw him get released and they said oh that's a potential target and that makes sense why because i know for a fact oj howard was really high on the bengals draft board during the 2017 nfl draft they didn't take him they ended up going with john ross uh, neither pick really worked out uh for their respective teams oj howard was the 19th overall pick to the tampa bay buccaneers but he certainly wasn't bad and looking at what the the bengals need from the tight end spot well they have the athleticism with Hayden Hurst, the guy who's going to open up the field and be a, a premier, I would say, pass target for Joe Burrow behind the big three in the passing game. They also have a key blocking tight end in Drew Sample. I think Howard's kind of a hybrid at, of both at this stage of his career. I think he's a quality blocker, might not be held in, in as high regard as a guy like Drew Sample. And I think he's still a capable pass catcher, but might not have the athleticism that a guy like Hayden Hurst has, mostly because he suffered a torn Achilles in the, the 2020 season, came back, played all 17 games last year, made nine starts for the Buccaneers. But he's used to that tight end two type role where he can do a little bit of everything. He played with Gronk, right? So he's, he's aware of that. And I'm not saying Hayden Hurst is Gronk, but as far as role players go, OJ Howard can be that role player. Now, I'll read word for word what Ian Rappaport had to say. He said the Bengals hosting OJ Howard on a visit. Assuming all goes well with his physical, he's expected to sign. He was a surprising cut yesterday. It should come together today. A new target, obviously, for Joe Burrow. And this is the other takeaway. The Bengals didn't hesitate. They didn't flinch. They saw a guy come down that they wanted, and they got him. And I think that's kind of a, a new thing over the past, I'd say, year or two. And I'll use another example. Trey Flowers. Trey Flowers had a great camp, great preseason. I think he kind of stabilized that cornerback four position and showed that he's more than just a guy who can cover tight ends one-on-one, -on -one, but can really play outside corner if you need him to in a pinch. If you need him to move around, he can do that to a degree. And the Bengals went and got him. They claimed him last year. Lou Anarumo was ecstatic to get him. And the Bengals, same thing here. They had a weakness. A guy came down that they thought could help it. And guess what? He's helping it. And I think that part is, is really, really exciting. Looking at this tight end room now, if you're talking about Hayden Hurst, the former 25th overall pick, O.J. Howard, uh, a former 19th overall pick, Drew Sample, second rounder, you feel pretty good about the talent in that room, even if Howard has lost a little juice. So, yeah, that's... Uh, it's it's exciting. I, I really do. I think it's exciting. I think that you add a guy like that to the room and it just gives the Bengals that much more depth. They don't need OJ Howard to be this freakish athlete star. Now, if he gets a little bit of that athleticism back, great. If not, and he's mostly a blocking tight end and a capable pass catcher, I think that's better than what they had in a Thaddeus Moss. I think they may it gives them some insurance, especially if Mitch Wilcox isn't ready to go. And it's a guy who does have that type of talent and pedigree 
that you're looking for. So the Bengals, they just got deeper. I like the move. What do you think? Assuming it goes well, assuming the physical goes well, and OJ Howard becomes the next member of your Cincinnati Bengals. Make sure you like, leave a comment, give me your thoughts on that, and also hit that subscribe button. I'm It's early morning here in Cincinnati, going down to the stadium on Wednesday afternoon. We'll have plenty from Paycor Stadium as well as, well, the clock is ticking towards week one here in Cincinnati. I can't wait. I know you can't wait. Hit that subscribe button for more right here on Cincinnati Bengals Talk. For Andrew Fox Miller, I'm James Rapine signing off for now right here on CBT.